Be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Ephesians 6.10. Actually, would you want to say that with me as we meditate and just be freshly reminded of this reality and this call that we have as believers? Let's say it together. You might even want to say it out loud so your ears hear it. Be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Ephesians 6.10. What an amazing reminder for us. It would seem that Paul wants us to remind ourselves on a regular basis. We have the strength of the Lord. We have the power of the Spirit, the same God that raises the dead, the same God that created all the heavens and the earth, the same God that dwells and gives us his power and his authority delegated to us as believers, he says, be that. Be strong, not on your own strength, but in the Lord and in the strength of his might. That might is talking about the miracles, really. It's the the, the mighty hand of God. You see it throughout scriptures revealed, the mightiness of God. And that's actually how we have our hope. Not in what we see, right? But in giving pause that his strength, his might, carries with it the possibilities of the impossible, right? That no matter what, God is with us, and it, that changes everything. I, I love Paul's uh, reflection of, that, of his own personal journey and personal struggle. I think many of us relate to it. But real quick, let me share this with you. Second Corinthians chapter 1, Paul talks about his own own struggle. He says, uh, when, when while he was in Asia, we don't want you to be unaware, brothers, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly burdened beyond our strength that we despaired of life in s- itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death. Man, I, I don't know about you, but wow, that, I think most of us can relate to having those moments where it's like, it's impossible. I don't have the strength. This is this is too much. Paul actually felt the mighty apostle, right? He felt that, but listen, note what he said. He realized that he couldn't do it in his own self, right? In fact, he goes on to explain, but that that was to make us, but that was to make us not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. Isn't that amazing, right? To be reminded that that it's in those moments that we recognize we can't do it, that the grace of God shows up. And it's just, this. It's almost like the Holy Spirit reminds us through our ears, right? Through our, in the midst of our, our very being that we have the strength of the Lord to depend on. I don't know what that looks like for you or uh, all of us have different journeys, different experiences, but I do know this. We've been commanded uh, as believers, to be strong, not weak, uh, to, to depend on the might of God, the, the fact that God could do something miraculous at any given moment, that changes our attitude, doesn't it, right? It changes our demeanor. And that's what I so uh, pray for us today, that we would, in being strong, because that's who we are, that we would be regularly reminded of this reality and walk this out in great truth and confidence. I uh, I love so many of the verses that talk about strength. There's literally hundreds of it, but let me give you one more out of, out of Psalms. Uh, I love you, O Lord. Psalms 18. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge. Isaiah actually even talks about this as well. Verse chapter 40, verse eight, he gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. What an amazing reminder. This is what we have in the Lord. I was thinking and was preparing for this thought today of, uh, of the old TV show of Superman, right? Uh, especially the old one, right? Some of the original. I used to watch with my, my grandpa, one of my grandfathers. And it, it, you know, Clark Kent, right? He, was, he would just look as ordinary as ordinary could be, right? But he knew he had this incredible strength that at any given time he could lift a uh, lift a car if he needed to. Or it was only in the emergencies that he would change out and uh, 
take off the the outer garment, right, and and show what he show what he really was. But his strength was always there. Here, here's our reality. We have the strength of the Lord. We really don't need to walk around with a big S that says, I have strength. We just need to live in it. So I want to pray with us today. I want to pray right now that God would continually remind us. I want to pray for you and I that we would walk in this strength and in this confidence. We would respond to the world, to all of our challenges, with the joy of the Lord, with the strength of the Lord that only comes from him. Let's pray together right now. Join me. Father God, we thank you for your strength. We thank you for the hope and love that we have in you. And I'm asking right now that you would bless each one of your people with a gentle reminder that you are our strength. You are the God who is able to do and work in the most difficult of situations. And it's in this that we place our hope. I bless each one, my brothers and sisters in Christ. May they, together, we be strengthened in your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.